Look at the face on the... Velhart showed me this. Look at the face on the cloud. Oh! <laughs> that was actually a perfectly timed Fanto. Alright, let's play some Mortal Kombat, dude. Love Mortal Kombat in general. Come to a little tournament, he said. Be good for the career, he said. What is... Oh, am I... I'm probably releasing Duck. Alright, so yeah, it looks like... Alright. Easy level, dude. Leave it to Barb to make yet another easy level. Cool use of the, uh... The cannonball. To, like, hit it like that. So what do I think is gonna pop out of here? Something that I'm gonna have to hit, obviously. <laughs> I just talked about this the other day when we saw that this happened at night. The first night the the update the update went live. We checked out and saw that what Super Mushroom SMB2 Mushroom did in uh, night mode. And I very clearly said, don't make a level where you have the mushroom above you and you gotta jump to guide it over things. I said this. I said it three days ago. Dude, Barb never listens. I couldn't have been more clear with my instructions. He just doesn't listen. But now we have this. I'm mad I didn't get that one. Nice soft lock, Barb. Nice soft lock, Barb. Not a soft lock, you can lift the clouds. Not if you forget that you can do it. If you forget the tech, then it's still a soft lock. That's how it works. Beep, pop, boop, pop, boop. What is it gonna be in there? Oh my god, you can pick up a cloud? You can, and they look like they get their soul destroyed when it when it happens they make the saddest face do you remember little mermaid the look on the face of those things that ursula had in her garden those weren't things those were people cliffy what the hell oh oh you can ride the fish well I was like, why does he want me to hit off the fish? How am I going to get through that door? Oh, SMB2. You wily son of a bitch. In there? Oh, you need to pick this up and throw it. At the Muncher stack. Barb, how am I supposed to see that? The first time I get through there. Here we go. Come on, ride that fish. And ride it. Oh, no! Fuck! I'm dumb. That, you're probably not supposed to... Mm -mm. And something happens. You not. You don't want to pick that up, though, because... Grab it. Throw it. Grab it. Throw it. Whoa. Oh. I think I want to throw it at the muncher. Maybe. I'm not sure if I have to throw it at the muncher or the beetle. Thank you so much for the raid, dude. Hope your stream was good. I, I want to believe that's... Let me in there. <laughs> I want to believe it's something like that. Oh, I did it. No, I did it. It can be done. All right, cool. We got it. We're in there. Ah. 
How do you kill my mans? Oh, I know how you kill my mans. Well, I think we're dead now. Chat. You wanna not? You wanna not do that? On my birthday? Fuck you. Let me get a checkpoint. Where is it? Where is it? <laughs> I thought a bunch was coming out of there. Finally, checkpoint. Thank you, Barb. Alright, we're halfway through. the face on the Velhart showed me this. Look at the face on the cloud. <laughs> that was actually a perfectly timed Fanto. <laughs> Schmarcus, can we freeze frame that cloud's face and uh and turn that into an emote? Hey, Fanto. What do you want me to do here? You want me to use him? Use and and abuse? You wanted me to use and abuse the Goomba? How dare you? How dare you? You can let go of the Fanto key, actually. Can you? No, you can't. It's on you. I'd have to take damage. It's not a held item. Oh, you're asking. No. Please fuck off, Fanto. It's fi uh, I'm fine, but I have a question. Is it worth it to buy Super Mario Maker 2? How much do you enjoy Super Mario? You have a Switch. I will say this. If you are going to buy Mario Maker and only play endless random levels in endless mode, you will probably not have a good time. That being said, if you can find a good group of people who create levels, and there are many lists out there of people who make great levels. You know, of all different skill types. You know, really hard stuff, easier stuff, whatever. If you if you buy the game and do that, I think the game is worth it. Um Yeah, we have a list compiled if you if you can you can reference that. Um I know a lot of other streamers have uh their own lists as well. Uh but they just pushed a new update. So there's SMB2 stuff in here now. 
Uh, it's really fun. I have been enjoying it uh, a lot, but um, also I have a much different... My opinion is very biased. <laughs> so, yeah, Endless is mostly not worth it. I feel like if I bought the game and if I didn't have... Uh, if I really wanted to create levels and didn't have people to share them with, and all I had to play was levels in Endless, I would hate Mario Maker. Yeah, I mean, it just really depends on how much time you plan on putting into it. Um, you know? If you think you're gonna enjoy playing a buttload of Mario, it's essentially Endless Mario, right? Like, it's, a, a, it's a endless levels of Mario, Super Mario. Whether it be, you know... Super Mario World, or NSMBU style, or original Mario Brothers. There's some really cool stuff out there. Uh, if Endless Mario sounds like that's worth $60 to you, then I think you'll have fun. And I think you'll get your money's worth. But again, if you're just gonna go and play levels in Endless, which is just essentially random levels, Fanta, why you gotta be like that? Fanta, you're a whole asshole. I want you to know that. I want Animal Crossing 300 for a Switch and 60 for the game is too much. Animal Crossing is really awesome too. Here's the thing. There's a lot of there's a lot of really dope games for the Switch. Uh, so if you bought a Switch. Know that there's other stuff out there worth playing. A lot of other stuff. Breath of the Wild, for example, we're playing right now. Great game. Um, Mario Odyssey. Um, you know, there's all sorts of indie titles coming to Switch. Uh, you can play it on the go. May, may or may not be reason enough. Wow, he just clipped the tip. I think it's definitely worth it to own a Switch. I also think if you're into platformers, it doesn't get much better than Mario Maker. I know there are a lot of issues with the Mario Maker. There's a lot of people that love Mario, like, knock Mario Maker 2 and stuff. You know, people... It's like, the more you love something, the harder you're going to critique it. But, yeah, I mean, there's Cel Celeste, sure. That's a great game. I'm talking, but, like, just as far as, like, uh, you know, replayability... I don't think there's another platformer out there that offers as much replayability as Mario Maker does. It's overhated on by people on Twitch. For sure. But I think it's because people love it so much, you know what I mean? It's like people people who speedrun video games, they speedrun the game because they love it. And then they find all sorts of shit that they hate about it. The, the more you love something, the harder you're going to hate it, because the more you're going to have to deal with it and wish it were not the way it is. <laughs> that shit was crazy, son. Ah, come on, man. Come on, man. You have to have a certain level of skill because many fun levels are super hard, so I enjoy watching people play it more. I mean, you can't get good... You, you can't become skilled until you play it a lot. I was nowhere near as good as I am now when I started playing Mario Maker. You know? There's only one way to get better, and that's to play. But there's a decent amount of levels that... Uh, you know, are not super hard. You probably see a lot of people stream a lot of super hard levels just because people who stream this game stream the shit out of it. And, uh... And are therefore more skilled because they have the time put in. But there's still a lot of real... I mean, we, we played a whole world full of levels that, you know, for somebody who is brand new, uh, those levels would have been awesome to play. Oh, hamburgers. 
Well, that's rude. I'm gonna need you not to come close to me, my dude. How did that... This is an insane boss fight. <sighs> Let's take down the goddamn Mike Tyson of fucking original Mario Bros. Oh no! Oh my god, he blocked it for me. Thank you fucking... Thank you. No, he didn't block it that time! Oh my god. Dude, this is honestly, dude, this does feel like some some fucking old school ass like fighting Mike Tyson in Punch Out or like fighting Goro at the end of World Combat. Like this motherfucking boss is like thing of legend. Like, damn, dude, I can get to Goro, but I can't kill him. Sub Zero's ice shit doesn't work on him. I don't know how you beat him. And then there's like one kid down the block that did beat him, but nobody believes his dumb ass. He's like, I did. He's like, fuck you, Tommy. There's no way you beat that shit. Get the fuck out of my backyard before I call my mom. She makes you leave. Oh, shit. Me? No. I'm having fun. That's infuriating, but I'm having fun. <laughs> no, the real loser is Schmarcus, who's gonna have to have five hours of goddamn footage to wade through <laughs> when this goes on YouTube. Schmarcus will be like, God damn it, Cliffy. <laughs> Can you beat these motherfucking bosses quicker? God damn. Sometimes I'd be here losing to the boss fight, but thinking about Schmarcus. Damn, Schmarcus. one. Back up, bitch. No? I'm in unknown territory right now, y'all! It's a wild motherfucking west here. You know what the west is? Young and restless. No! No. Fuck this, I'm going in there. <laughs> Fuck this, I'm going in there. Yes! 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 No mushroom check! Let's go! Dude, I did it! I'm Tommy! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Dude, I heard... <laughs> Tommy said, dude, if you jump up into the top left corner, all the munchers coming down. Dude, get the fuck out of here. You didn't beat his ass like that. <laughs> dude, I'm that kid down the street now. You know what this level needs. The first post-major final update. Burly Todd drawing. Todd, you have to beat the course to see that. <laughs> 